Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of our NASCAR Heat 5 career mode here on the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Unfortunately, it's our first episode outside of the playoffs. That's right, we were eliminated in the last episode from Charlotte. You see the updated 8 driver grid coming into this brand new round. Obviously, a bit disappointing to be out of the playoffs, but at the same time, we're a rookie. We're in a four-star car with Colleg Racing. I thought getting past the first round... Uh, uh, was quite a successful season at that point. Now, of course, Charlotte Road Course, we just didn't have the pace that I think any of us expected to have. It is what it is. Uh, we move on and we come into this Las Vegas weekend now with no pressure for the final four races of the season. And I think we're in for an exciting final four races. We get to do what we can. We can get aggressive on strategy. We can do really whatever we want. We've got a ride for next season. We, of course, are returning to calling. There's really nothing to lose in terms of going for, you know, wins and whatnot. And we as well get to watch the playoff battle, uh, you know, shape up here in these coming episodes now. And who could maybe get into the final four here today of the round of eight drivers? Of course, you win and you're in kind of deal. Denny Hamlin and Toyota have been on fire. They swept the round of 12 and actually they've swept uh, the last four races of course Denny Hamlin won in Bristol the last race of the round of 16 he won the first race of the round of 12 to advance into the round of eight and then of course we saw Martin Truex Jr. pick up his first ever plate victory at Talladega to put himself into this round and then we saw Tyler Reddick a non-playoff driver win at the Charlotte Road Course as myself Kyle Larson his teammate of William Byron and Kyle Busch all got eliminated here uh, we are in qualifying on Saturday, bright sunny day here as we head down this back straight away and into three and four. The goal, a 31-2-7-8 here. Uh, are we going to be able to actually match that? Pretty unlikely as we exit four down this front straight away through the trioval and to the line. It's going to be 31-9-2-3 down in 23rd place for the South Point 400. So not exactly, uh, of course, where we would like to start this race now, as you can see the rest of the order there. Ryan Vargas at the back of the grid after having a heck of a, a race in the Charlotte Road Course. We saw him quite often in that one now, as you can see. Uh, Logano down in 21st after advancing into the round of eight, rounding out the top 10. Uh, newly eliminated Kyle Busch on pole. Denny Hamlin, Christopher Bell, all Toyota top three with Kurt Busch in his final start at his home track. Now, as before, the Cup Series on Sunday afternoon as well, we had Xfinity Series action this same weekend here from Vegas and it was Jade Buford winning in the Xfinity Series. I think that's the second win of the Xfinity season. He's no longer in the playoffs, however, as you see the rest of the order as we get ready to go racing on Sunday. We're live from Las Vegas Motor Speedway for an all-new round of the playoffs. Just eight driver remain in the title fight as we head to back-to-back mile-and-a-half tracks. Expect to see some gambling today, Rick. Excuse the Las Vegas joke, but if we see a long green flag run, it is very possible today. And uh, we have big names that aren't in the fight anymore that can spoil the party. Larson, Byron, and Kyle Busch all eliminated last week. However, we will have to wait a bit to get the show going. We're just hearing now that there was a lightning strike within eight miles of the track. As you can see that storm cell in the backdrop of our picture. Well, you heard it there, a lightning strike within eight miles, and we would get a rare rain storm here in Las Vegas uh, that would push the race to a little bit later uh, in the evening here in Vegas. Thankfully, it was a pretty quick shower. They were able to get the track dried up relatively quickly and get us back ready to roll Sunday evening. All right, team, uh, you know, thanks for the hard work this weekend. It sucks that we're no longer in the fight for the title and the playoffs, but it is what it is. Let's have fun tonight. No more pressure, bud. Let's finish the year off strong. You heard us on the radio. Kevin Harvick, throwback for this episode in Vegas. The Budweiser 2014 looking paint scheme or 15, whatever year it is. Uh, but it reminds me of the 2014 one. Uh, Sanok whipped that one up. Look, looks absolutely fantastic here. Now we'll see what Harvick can do. Harvick in his final season, his final race here, uh, starting up towards the front and in the round of eight of the playoffs. Byron starting at the back again. He had, of course, rough luck in Dega and then had to start in the back of the Charlotte Roval, which put him out of the playoffs. And again tonight as we're underway from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Now, unfortunately, as we get underway for this race in Vegas, we no longer have the playoff tags uh, on driver names. Of course, we will be able to tag.
tell by the windshield banner uh, by everybody. Of course, that bright yellow windshield banner on every playoff car as we come through one out of turn two side by side with that 48 there of Alex Bowman, who's been probably, I saw a comment in the last episode, or not the last one, but Talladega, that if there was like a bad luck rating for Bowman, it would be the highest for him because Bowman has some horrendous luck in this season of this Heat 5 career mode. Of course, fortunately for Bowman, he is signed for another year with Hendrick Motorsports, so he's got another year to prove himself and prove his worth at HMS uh, next season here as we continue on down towards turn number one. We're going to go all the way up to this outside here now in this number 16 machine. Todd Gilliland kind of slow off the bat here. Good qualifying effort, not good race pace. We'll go around him right to the back of my teammate of Justin Haley. Four races left as a teammate with him uh, as well. Of course, you guys know by now, Omendinger, Hemrick coming on board full time uh, for three colleague rides next season with myself being that third driver, of course, now uh, as we're trying to go around the outside of Haley and getting, getting to the outside here of Grant Enfinger in that number 42. We'll take P18 away from him and we just kind of continue to move forward here now, of course. Now you got Kozlowski, Chandler Smith uh, just in front of us and we just can continue to surprisingly be able to use this outside to my advantage and that will move us up into P17 going alongside Kozlowski here for that 16th position down towards turn number three as you can see up ahead now you got Eric Jones as well as Chris Busher battling it out now uh, as we're going to go around the outside complete that pass hopefully on this number six machine he hangs at our left rear so not uh, job complete yet uh, as we head down through the rest of the travel towards turn 114 laps remain in the stage Hamlin who started on pole uh, still out in front of this grid and Hamlin went all regular season winless and here he is now with just what two wins in the playoffs and as well two of the last four or whatever as a caution is actually going to fly a little bit early on in stage one and everybody will be staying out here as we can all make it to the end of the stage so p16 is where we are set to restart harvick in second uh kurt bush currently scored in that third position over chastain as well as ryan blaney so kurt bush uh, of course not in the playoffs either and his final start at the las vegas motor speedway now uh looking like it's going to be a, a meaningful one here now as we are ready to roll alongside christopher bell the regular season champion having a bit of a rough playoff so far uh bell it's been a while since he's gone to victory lane of course he went on a tear where he was finishing top five week after week and fighting for the wins and winning a bunch of races and then he kind of cooled down a little bit in the final part of the regular season and has pretty been pretty uh lackluster so far in the playoffs however he's picked up so many playoff points from stage wins but over 10 stage wins the four race wins and the regular season championship that he has been able to just really uh, have those back him up for some decent runs he hasn't been running bad but he's been running decent compared to what he did earlier in the season which was significantly better uh, than what he's put up on the board lately but like I said so many playoff points it's kind of allowing him to be on cruise control here and the question is will he be able to cruise control into the final four I don't think he can do that now as we come through uh, the exit of two here down the span straight away alongside that 43 of Eric Jones another playoff contender behind us Lagana we were actually three wide I didn't realize that right off the bat but I would actually be able to get alongside this 20 on the exit of four Lagano coming through as well the two of Cinder gets past us so does Lagano unfortunately a big check up on the outside right there behind the 54 of Ty Gibbs I had to smash the brake pedal here Byron who started from the bank of the pack passing myself here uh, late in stage one he goes through in that inside lane in that Raptor machine as he actually checks up as well so I would try to make a move to the inside of him however on the exit of four three wide in the middle he is he's going to be able to go back through as I dive down to the apron here comes Tyler Reddick as well uh, another driver who was a bit further back in qualifying qualified I think 27th a big name that's struggling look at my rear view mirror Martin Truex Jr. has not really been in the top 20 much here tonight and just not a lot of speed in that 19 car right now he enters below the cut line this is not the type of night he needs and it's going to be surprising to see if he goes any further than where he is right now as he's actually trying to make a move to my inside into three and four Denny Hamlin out of turn four through the trioval he'll win stage one after qualifying on pole position the first stage winner of the round of eight and a playoff point that'll get him absolutely nothing if he even makes the final four as we're going to cross the stripe for P20 here in stage number one overall pretty happy with the car but definitely need a few adjustments yeah, if we can just maybe tighten it up a little bit, it was pretty free on the uh, long run. Yep, we got you here. Wedge and tire pressure changes coming. 
you hear it right there. We got a uh, wedge and tire pressure changes. Look at the wedge. We went from a 50.0 to a 50.5. That's how you can tell I was lacking some confidence in the freeness of this number 16 colleague Chevrolet. Uh, so we're going to get back underway for stage two. How about Bubba Wallace running in the top three? Blaney loses 10 spots in the pits, so a pretty bad pit stop puts him outside of the top 10 as we're back underway for the start of stage two. Ty Gibbs on our front nose right there. Gibbs qualified pole in the last episode of the Charlotte Road Course, uh, looking for his first career win, of course, and I thought it might have been coming last episode, but then Tyler Reddick took the lead on the final lap of stage one one and he never looked back he drove away from that point on and, and obviously dominated the race and got his first win of the season what could have been for Tyler Reddick if he would have made the playoffs because he could be looking at a, a round of eight berth right now and an opportunity to fight for a championship but I expect to see significant improvements out of 2311 next season I mean we're already seeing it here in the playoffs Reddick with the win Bubba Wallace right now running in second place a great run for the 23 of course as we head down into one and two clear of Kyle Busch of course Busch going to be looking for a better season next time around uh, he picked up of course three wins this season so far and unfortunately for him was an early exit in the playoffs in my opinion you know for a three win season to be out in the round of 12 uh, that's definitely what I would consider an early exit for somebody I mean we even beat Kyle Busch in the standings so uh, of course we are winless Kyle Larson another winless driver hard to believe having a rough night here in uh, Las Vegas I have by the way fixed his rating you're never going to see him unnecessarily running the outside and as well that goes for Tyler Reddick as well you will see them run the outside occasionally just like all the rest of the AI you're just not going to see them fight to be up there all race long which was just not needed in my opinion so uh, we come through one and two lap six of 18 in the stage right to the left rear quarter panel of Ty Gibbs Eric Jones up the inside he's been having some uh, pretty solid performances lately here as well he's up into now 14th places I'm going to clear that 54 of Gibbs on the exit of two up into P15 and we would not unfortunately be able to pass that 43 of Eric Jones uh, and that would uh, now bring Kyle Larson into the mix now to my outside but the caution is going to fly again here from Las Vegas so uh, once again similar to stage one that caution is going to allow us to make it to the end of the stage without pitting uh, so we will uh, be able to stay out here and get ready to go again Bubba Wallace uh, Harvick Suarez in the top five as well uh, nice to see Daniel Suarez having a good run after that early playoff elimination we're back underway it's going to be seven laps of racing to go in stage number two you got Larson on our outside you got Gibbs and Austin Dylan, a playoff winner this season. Of course, not a playoff driver, but he has that win earlier uh, from Kansas Speedway as he was just on fire that day. So, of course, Richard Childress Racing, I mean, they've made some improvements this year. They've gotten both their cars to victory lane. Well, of course, three of with, uh, with Kyle Busch and one with Austin Dillon. One of those wins with Kyle Busch was a lucky win at Bristol when everybody was running out of field and diving to the pit lane. Kyle Busch was able to have enough to make it to the end and, of course, pick up that victory there now as we come through uh, into these closing moments now of stage two running 14th place Bowman up there in 13th Hamlin continues to lead the race and he's not running away from the field but he's got a car that can just manage the gap you know how he wants to unfortunately the longer uh, this run goes the more laps to put on the tires on this car I really start to struggle tonight so I just couldn't stick with the cars ahead of me and it was all about surviving we start the final lap of stage number two and I got Eric Jones and Kyle Larson just behind myself as we head down towards turn number one. Jones all the way on that white line. Larson a little, maybe a couple feet off of it now as we exit turn two down this back straight away for the final time of the stage. Jones is going to pass us. Hamlin enters three and four as the leader as he continues to dominate this race. He's led every lap up the inside of Jones we go. Hamlin through the trial will sweep the first two stages 10 points in both stages 20 points on the day jones will hold us off to be p15 here in stage two uh for us in the 16 machine over larson gibbs just behind us syndrick uh jones just in front chastain the final stage point there one of the round of eight drivers of course that will be much needed points for him logano uh with the seventh place result elliott six up with the non-playoff guys of suarez byron and bubba wallace all up there in the top five as everybody 
will pit for four tires and feel this time no adjustments coming. I think now the issue that we are facing is just quite simply a speed issue in this car. It looks like Burton and our teammate of Haley actually out of the race here uh, in Las Vegas as we're ready to roll for the third and final stage. The sun officially all the way down. It's been a while since we've had a night race in Las Vegas, but because of that rain delay earlier in the day, it's given us this opportunity to put the lights back on here with 24 laps remaining in this race now as I actually think Vegas looks, I mean, spectacular under the lights here. Night racing is fantastic. I really wish we could have more night racing uh, nowadays, but NASCAR, of course, in this current generation is so concerned with ratings that night races are... Uh, you know, uh, being a normality, I should say, is quite a thing of the past. We only get them a few times a year now, which absolutely sucks. However, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. There's no point in complaining about it now as we come through the trial. And now, uh, running still P15, we're going to jump down to the inside if we get an opportunity here towards turn number one. But I decide, you know what, we'll commit to that second lane and see if we can, can uh, get around that 43 of Eric Jones. This car really takes off on the short run on these restarts with three wide around the outside of the two in the 43 Chastain Bowman there just in front of us as well new leader by the way it's Bubba Wallace out in front here but it's not long because now William Byron freshly eliminated to the lead as I catch the wall on the exit of turn four diving down to the inside to try and cut the track a little bit here uh, and we would be able to stay ahead of the two car Byron continues to lead but I don't think it's going to last it I just say the two car uh, the 24 uh, but Hamlin would be able to take the lead back pretty quickly. So Hamlin won't lead every lap tonight, but he will get back out in front here in these closing 20 laps of this race in Las Vegas. We continue to battle it out with the likes of Jones and Sindrick here for 15th, 14th, 13th, etc. Larson behind us. He's just had one of those nights. It's just not going well for him. Martin Truex Jr. having... An even worse night, of course. He's got something to fight for, a championship for a position, and he's still running in about that 20th place area uh, as we come through to lap 51. Still no caution, which usually by now in this final stage uh, is pretty likely to see a caution, I would say, anywhere between now and and lap 55 if we're looking at the trends of this season of this career mode and the further we go past that it's like okay maybe we won't get a caution but we finally see green flag pit stops well we get a green flag run right to the end of this race as i'm starting to lose some ground as we put more uh laps on these tires and like i said earlier the more laps you put on them the more i struggle and i decide you know what we're going to get aggressive. We're no longer in the playoffs. There's no risk of points or anything. I'm not concerned about losing points. So we are going to get aggressive with 10 laps to go in this race, which will be about uh, four or five laps of feel in the car. We're going to make a pit stop. So we're going to pit about two to three laps earlier than everybody else. So at the end of lap 58, here we come into the pits. It's going to be a very simple call. We're going to put two tires on and half a can of fuel. That's it. And we're going to come in and get the job done. I just saw in the background, uh, both Bell and Truex running right around each other. I forgot to mention Christopher Bell as well, uh, running pretty rough here tonight under the lights as well in Las Vegas. It's going to be about an eight second pit stop. The right side's on and there you go. We will uh, exit the pit lane here now and just hope for the best and hope for no caution as well because we are currently one lap down so if caution came out we wouldn't have to pit but we would have to rely on a potential lucky dog which would make a start of the bank anyway so then we would just pit for four tires at that point uh so we come through to lap 61 of 67 waiting to see what happens here now we are gaining time on the cars in front but the question is are they going to take tires will they only take half a can of fuel well we're going to find out everybody into the pit lane including the leader of denny hamlin here a few moments later lap 62 coming to 63 five laps remain here in vegas we unlap ourselves before a caution comes out I don't think a caution's coming. We might go all stage three green. That would be two episodes in a row. I don't think that's happened ever in this career mode series so far in the first season. You can see where we cycle out. We're basically exactly where we were. So we didn't gain anything out of this. We didn't lose anything. We're right there again with Austin Dillon. Uh, Hamlin cycles out to the lead as I have a bit of a moment there on the exit of four clip in the wall. Thankfully, that does not lead into an incident uh, in these closing laps of this race. But Denny Hamlin... 
He's been in control from start to finish. Nobody has had anything for him. We start the final lap in Las Vegas. Hamlin's already leading the way down into turn three and four. Hamlin, we talked about it earlier, winless all regular season long. He won his first race in the round of 16 at Bristol. He won his second race in the round of 12 at Texas to put him into this round. And now, Denny Hamlin is officially a part of the final four. Hamlin wins in Las Vegas, and he will fight for a championship in a few episodes time from the Phoenix Raceway. Could this be the year where Denny Hamlin finally gets that first title, or will his continuous uh, just, you know, not winning the title continue? We'll find out momentarily in the coming episodes. We cross the stripe for P16 uh, here in Las Vegas, so we didn't gain or lose anything. Uh, one driver that did have issues, however. William Byron. So, by the way, Bubba Wallace and his 2311 teammate, all 2311 cars in the top five. Bubba Wallace, Kurt Busch, Tyler Reddick. A great day for that team. Suarez, Chastain, both track those cars in the top 10, but one driver, William Byron, actually had to make a second pit stop. I think maybe they didn't put enough fuel in the car or he had a penalty. Uh, he ended up 28th there right at the end of the race. So very unfortunate for William Byron. Uh, so we'll take a look at the playoff grids following Vegas. There's the Xfinity Series. They have two races left in their round of eight. Uh, Custer currently one point below the cut line behind John Hunter, Nemechek, uh, Jones Hill, and Allmendinger all fight for the title there potentially. Barry uh, got a lot of work to do, 38 points back. So Hamlin, he's locked in. Harvick's good by 28 points. Bell good by 12. Elliott by 10. Chastain out by 10. Blaney out by 15. Logano with a ton of work to do. What happened to Logano? I, I just went back and looked. Logano ran top 10 a whole race long, but the field being so competitive with the drivers he has to beat, he gave up uh, a bunch of points to them anyways and still finds himself 30 points out of the final four. Truex as well, 38 back with a ton of work to do after a rough day. Bell with all those playoff points was able to salvage a rough night. That'll wrap it up for me. I'll see you guys in the next one for my favorite mile and a half in the world from Homestead, Miami. Have a great day, everybody.